to a brand new season of Maggie There Is. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another beautiful episode of Maggie Diaries. My name is Ohunene Muslimat Itudaye. I hope you've been enjoying the blessings of this holy month of Ramadan so far and fulfilling all there is to be fulfilled as a Muslim. Well, today I have something very unique for you and I'll share it with you when we come back. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Ramadan is peace. Beyond refraining from eating and drinking, this month is about humility, sharing, gratitude to Almighty Allah for His blessings and forgiveness, which brings about an overall peace. Welcome back. So our menu for today's iftar is Amala, which is called Oka in Ebira, from the north central part of the country, and Epeza, which is the local bean soup in Ebira. From the same part of the country. Now, let me take you through some of my ingredients. Here I have beans, roughly crushed. We all know beans is a plant-based food that contains a beautiful blend of complex carbohydrates and protein. It digests slowly and with that it stabilizes the glucose level in our system. Now the yam flour, yam is an effective tool for weight loss. Here I also have goat meat, I have dry fish, crayfish, cow skin which we normally popularly call pomo and I have some of my amazing variants of Maggi seasoning, signature mia, ninja pots and the rest of them. When we come back we'll cook together and see how this meal goes. Thank you. Kamar yadda kuka sani ina son girki na fara girki tun ina shekara bakwai Hakika ina son da mun tsake musamman in ya ji gada da kuma zo gare Haka zalika kwarewa ta ce ta sani ci gogorin mai riga sar muna kwariya Taskira asirin mai daki Sunana Anisa Lawal I'm going to go straight into making my epeza bean soup and the first thing I'm going to do is to season and boil my goat meat. So first off I'm going to add my crushed um, garlic and ginger, you know, rub it on it a little bit so to get into it and then add some onions, already diced onions. It gives it a very beautiful flavor and makes it cook fast. It becomes very soft before you know it. Next thing is my maggi star. I'm going to put a few cubes of maggi star in it. After this, I'm just going to add some water, cover it and bring it to boil. That's some water. Just enough to bring it to boil, not too much, just normal. and then be sure to cook on medium heat. Now while my meat is boiling, for easy and fast cook to save time, because it's a tar we're preparing for, I don't know to spend too much time in the kitchen prepping, I also have some water in here for my okra. So I'm going to give it heat as well so that it can boil and I can make my okra while I'm also making my bean soup. This is all in the bit to save time. We also have some crayfish here as well. We have our uh, cow skin, popularly known as pomo diced very tiny bits just so that with every chunk of food you carry you find some of the pomo in it. I really like to do it like that. And then for the yellow pepper and the shongbo, they were all pounded together. That's why it's looking like this right now. So they're all going to go into the beans when the meat is boiled and well cooked. We'll continue the process. So let's talk a little bit about planning for Ramadan. Ramadan is not just like any other month in the year. It takes a lot of time from us because we want to do the, not the regular things we do every other day. It's a holy month that um, Muslims try to devote to doing a lot of things that the religion preaches. Now, for that, you have to plan before the month even starts. That's the way I do my thing and that's the way I believe most of us should do it. You do your meal plan, not um, meals that necessarily take too much of your time to prepare for. Do your shopping before the Ramadan, you know, and then um, just generally do meals that don't take too much time so that you can have enough time to fulfill the purpose of the holy month. You also 
also have to see that you stick with meals that are not too time consuming, less fatty, balance all your diets in it. Okay, well, while we're doing that, let me check on our meat and see whether it is cooked yet. Hmm, I love the aroma. I always say a lot about a lot of onions in my food. Ah, uh, well, it's boiling. The meat is boiling, but it needs to be a little more tender. While my meat is boiling, I would prepare my oka. You know, the theme here is to save time. So I'm just going to get to making my oka because the water is already boiling. For doing this, you put some hot water on the side, which I already have. Then you hold your turning stick very firmly. But before I start, let me check on my meat to be sure, okay, it's already... Oh. The meat is tender, so I'm just going to turn off my heat so I don't get distracted. So while making this, you don't want to have lumps, so you just concentrate on it. So we'll get back to the epeza later, but right now, the water is ready for the oka, so you pour your flour gently. And like I said, hold your tony stick very firmly. You don't want to have lumps in your oka. This reminds me of how our mothers used to do it back then. It used to look like rocket science, but I guess we learn every day and we grow. You turn your oka very well and make sure that there are no more flour in sight. Everything has incorporated into the mix. Look at that. And when this is done, there was some hot water we set aside earlier, like I told you. So you're going to have to add some of it back into the mix and cover it. For it to cook finally before you mix and turn off your heat and then you serve. I'm going to turn out the meat in my pot of soup for my epeza so that I can heat up my oil and get to it as well. Do that very quickly. Pull back your heat on. Please remember to always cook on medium heat so you don't get your food burnt here and there. We're trying to save time while we do more than one thing. Okay, I'm going to put in some oil. Not necessarily to bleach the oil, but just to heat it up a little. I'm immediately putting my onions. And of course, my locust beans, fresh locust beans. So while this simmers, I will go back to my oka. By now it should be cooked, so I'll do the final turning with my turning stick and bring it down and serve while I wait for my epeza to be ready. The oka is well put together now, well cooked now, so I've done justice to it by turning it very firmly. And I'm just going to turn off my heat and cover it. Back to my epeza preparation. Locust beans, onions are seasoning very well. Next thing that will go in is a mixture of my pounded yellow pepper and shongbo. Okay, this has fried enough, so I'm just going to pour back in my protein. My dry fish has gone in as well. All the other remaining parts of this protein are going to go in. So that we can add some of our Maggi cubes in it. This time around, I'm going to use Maggi Ninja pot before I'll cover it and allow it to simmer together. Then the eza, that's the beans, will go in before the other ingredients. Okay. Everything is boiling well, but I think we need to add a little more water to balance the thickness of the epeza. As I was saying about Ramadan and changes that come with it every other year, 
for me this year I am excited so more family members can come over to my place for iftar and have you know, beautiful dishes like this oka and a pizza I'm having right now. I'm glad that I have the opportunity to do that again today. I'm going to sit down and have this together. And then some other time I can visit another family member and enjoy as well because Ramadan is about sharing. Now, my protein is ready for my crushed eza to go in there and they will have our pizza. So I'm just going to pour it round gently. You pour a little, you hold on for a while, turn it. This is to make sure there are no lumps and also balance the thickness of your epeza. Note that you can use any kind of beans. Yes, this is enough now. Next thing that I'll go in is my crayfish. My crayfish goes into my soup or any of my dishes as one of the last ingredients because crayfish is a kind of um, ingredient that whose taste or um, flavor disappears in your meal if it, if it goes in too early. So I like to use this as um, one of my last ingredients. So yes, crayfish goes in now. Much of it, crayfish can never be too much in your dishes. Don't get that wrong anywhere. And after my crayfish, I put my Maggi signature Mia anytime for your local soups. So. It's a taste changer, a flavor changer, an overall game changer of our local dishes. Some people actually use signature mia in stir fries. You twist it in a very nice way. You can try that at home. I've done it a lot of times. Last but not the least is my scent leaf. And as I'm putting my scent leaf, I'm turning off my heat. My scent leaf has gone in and my epeza is not ready. When we get back, you will meet your iftar served, oka and epeza. Iya <laughs> kira asirin mai daki ni ce amina jamil sale so there you have it my oka and epeza served i'm sure you enjoyed this beautiful episode of magi diaries Please try this at home and enjoy with your loved ones. Ramadan Mubarak. Go comment on my Instagram, the Facebook, Instagram at Maggie underscore Nigeria, Facebook at Maggie Nigeria, and you can watch full episodes on YouTube.